Well, here we are. Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bum? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kinda unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family, so he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. Poor kid. Flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective. Does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. 
Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. find another entrance. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Put down the axe, and I'll forget that you threatened a cop. Show your badge, cop, and then we can talk. You don't need to see my badge. You're a bad liar, city boy. For the last time, tell me why you're here. And no baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. The sooner I carry out my investigation, the sooner I wrap up the case and return to Boston. After which, you'll never hear of me again. Huh. I like the sound of that. But I have a better idea. You leave right now, and you never come back. Officer Bradley, this hood was trying to break into the mansion. Do something, Bradley, or this story will have a nasty ending. I vouch for him, Silas. He's working with us. We have reason to believe that someone entered the mansion and stole some paintings. Impossible. I would have seen it. Better safe than sorry. Now let us in. I promise to keep an eye on this one. <laughs> okay then. I'll leave the key with you. You could have told me that earlier, Sonny. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on?
The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? What kind of meat is this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. The boy was probably here, smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Hey, kids. Daydreaming again? Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Silas managed to bring the fire under control. But Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? Did someone escape the fire? Did it stop at the time of the fire? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? They had a fight. Why? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Desperate attempt to flee. Huh. And the boy. So, detective, what do you make of it? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble.
An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. It's quite a building, don't you think? Do you know that the Hawkins were among the wealthiest families on the island? A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. There's something disturbing about this painting. Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police. room. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him.
What will her room reveal about her? Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Bradley? Is that you? Is anyone there? Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. I'll cover you. This door was closed earlier. Where did he go? Charles Hawkins was keeping her father's letters from her. Looks like an old seaway map. Do you really think that your fugitive came in here? I don't see any way out. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably another friend of Hawkins. It looks like a freehand map of Darkwater. 
Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. This panel is movable. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. Great. I managed to force the gears. Looks like I've triggered something. Well done, Pierce. As if the bookcase has been moved several times. Seems like this came from a log. There must be a link with the Seaway map. 